Hey everyone, today we're going to be reading Stella Writes an Opinion by Daniel Wagstaff, illustrated by Donna Reagan. Hi, I'm Stella. We do a lot of writing in our class. Today, Miss Merkley said we get to write an opinion. Some of the kids asked, what's that? I say, oh, that's easy. An opinion is what you think about something. It's not what your mom thinks or dad thinks or your teacher or some other kid thinks. It's what you think. I have so many opinions, like the best food is ice cream, and we should be allowed to bring toys to school, and Miss Merkley is the nicest teacher in the whole world. I don't know how I'll ever choose what to write my opinion about. Felipe and Jenny kind of started whining. Miss Merkley, we don't know what to write about. Can you believe that? All you have to do is think. What do you love? What do you not so love? What bugs you at school or at home? What would you change if you were in charge of the world, or your class, or your bedroom? Stuff like that. I mean, everybody has opinions. Everybody. And what could be more fun than to write about what you think about an important topic? Now, that's power. Remember how I said I didn't know how I'd choose what to write about? Well, I helped myself. I made a list, like good writers sometimes do. I listed all the things I loved, the things I not so loved what bugs me about school and home, and what I'd change if I was in charge. Then I asked myself, okay, which of these am I really whoopee about? If I give a speech to a sold out crowd in my backyard, which idea would I choose? That made it easy. See, I'm in second grade. In kindergarten and first grade, we got to bring a morning snack if we wanted. You know, something to keep us going till lunchtime. Now we can't bring one anymore. We're too old. That bugs me. If I was in charge, it's something I would change. Easy. Done. So this is my opinion. Second graders should be able to bring a morning snack. But wait! Miss Merkley said this isn't enough. I've only stated my topic and what I think about it. You can't just say what you want or what bugs you or what you'd like to change. To write a good opinion, you have to have reasons to support it. Reasons. Well, most of us kids are pretty good with coming up with reasons. Like when we try to get our moms to let us stay up 10 more minutes at night, we can come up with about a million reasons for that. For example, one, reading just one more book will make us so much smarter. Two, if we stay up later, we'll be more tired and fall asleep so much faster. Three, 10 more minutes our whole entire lifetimes doesn't really add up to that much. Stuff like that. So, reasons. Reasons why second graders should still be able to bring a morning snack. Well, I hate it when my stomach grumbles right in the middle of spelling or addition. I mean, how can I concentrate on spelling words or grouping 25 with 25 with 20 when my stomach is roaring for attention? I can't. All I can think about is, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So there's a reason. Snacks make me smarter. Smarter because I can work harder on that spelling or addition instead of worrying about my poor old tummy. Oh, I just thought of another reason. I get grumpy when I'm hungry. I mean grumpy like snapping at my friends or classmate. Don't touch that. I know, I know. Stop making that noise. They call this low blood sugar. Does that ever happen to you? When you eat, you feel better. More like your usual self. I like to get back to my usual self as soon as possible, and a snack does the trick. After all, most people adore the usual me. I think those are good reasons to bring back morning snack, don't you? So, I have my topic, I've stated my opinion, and my reasons for that opinion. Pretty good stuff. Miss Merkley says there's one more thing. Writers need to bring things to an end, like they do with stories, so we need to have a closing for our opinions. You know, like if you were giving a speech, you'd say something wise or funny that sums up your idea so people will remember them. This way, everyone knows you're done, and they can give you a standing ovation. Hmm, this part's not so easy. I'll try a couple of different endings on paper to see what I can do. To sum up, snacks are needed now. Hungry stomachs turn second graders' brains to mush. I guess that's a little dramatic. How about this? As you can see, morning snack is a good idea for growing second graders. That one doesn't quite sound like me. Sometimes I have to sit and think for a while. Sometimes I leave my writing and come back to it later. 
Aha! To conclude, morning snacks are important. We should bring them back for second graders. When our stomachs are happy, we're happy kids who can learn better because we can concentrate. And that's what school is all about. Yes, I like that one. It sounds like me and it reminds everyone why my opinion deserves attention. I'm glad I tried writing a couple different endings or I never would have come up with that one. I think I'm done, but I'll do what good writers do. I'll read over it a few times to make sure it says what I want it to say and sounds like I want it to sound. Two weeks later, guess what? Miss Merkley read my opinion and thought I had some really good points. I guess there are a few other hungry, grumpy pants people in our class besides me. She said that she wanted to show my paper to the principal. So we sat down together and fixed the misspellings. Once he read it, he agreed. We get to start bringing morning snacks next week. See, I told you opinions are powerful. Who knows what opinions writers might change. The world needs us.